Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today's episode, we're going to be talking about Java and Big Data courses. So want to learn Big Data, want to take some of the courses that are out there because there's a ton of courses. I've got courses, you know, there's, there's a ton of resources out there around Big Data and teaching the technical aspects for the data engineer. But do you have to know Java? Do we have to be involved? And how much Java is really in these courses? So find out more right after this. So today's question comes in from YouTube, and so if you have any questions, big data related, not big data related, data engineering related, put them in the comment section here below. Go to my website, thomasinson.com forward slash big questions. Ask those questions. Put it on Twitter. Use the hashtag big questions, and I'll try to answer those as best I can. And today's question comes in from YouTube comment section. It says, I've completed my BTEC in mechanical engineering. Great job. Congratulations on finishing that. So I want to learn a big data course. Is it mandatory to have depth knowledge of Java or can I learn big data without having Java knowledge? So this question is very similar to one I answered um, about big data engineers and do, do they have to know Java? So you can actually check that out here and go and watch that video. That's going to be focused on the big data developer and you know how getting a job and do you have to know Java to be able to be involved in that? So uh, check that out for there. But I'm going to address this from an educational perspective. What resources are out there for people that don't have Java knowledge or do they even need to have Java in order to learn big data? And so the answer is no, you don't have to. But I will say, you know, a majority, a lot of courses are going to go a little bit into the Java portion because everything, you know, from a Hadoop perspective started out and was based on Java. There's a lot of new frameworks that are out there. A lot of things that are, you know, people are really excited about, you know, Spark's been around for a while, but there's also, you know, other frameworks that are, that are being created right now that are not just using Java. So Python is one big option. I've got a video here that talks about using Python. Also, I've got a lot of resources that I've compiled on writing your own MapReduce jobs by using Python um, in one of my blog posts there. And so I'll, I'll post that here in the uh, comment section below. Uh, so you can have that resource and that'll teach you how to do it with Python, but you don't just have to use Python. There's been an announcement here recently that uh, Go is going to be supported with some of the other frameworks. You can also do use Scala. So Scala is used heavily uh, when we talk about Spark, but a lot of the, a lot of the other frameworks. And so I would say that depending on the course, so depending on what courses you're looking for, you don't have to have Java, but some courses are going to require it. All the courses that I've, that I've taught, I've showed Java, but I've, I've took the aspect of, hey, you know a little bit about Java, but you're not going to do any coding or anything like that. I use Java as the example for why, you know, for instance, why when I use Pig Latin and taught Pig Latin, that was my first MapReduce job. And I didn't, I didn't use Java. I knew Java, but I didn't have to know Java to be able to do it. So I did a simple comparison there. So, you know, some of the courses that I've taught with uh, Pig and Pig Latin, so Pig Latin getting started, also um, HDFS getting started. So understanding how to move that data. So especially as a data you know, as your administrator or as your solutions architect, if you're not really writing the MapReduce jobs or, you know, even the Spark jobs, you definitely don't have to know Java. And I would say that, you know, most most data engineers nowadays, I don't know, uh, maybe 50 percent, 50 percent of the time, are they really writing in Java? They're probably using a higher level language like Scala or Go, Python. Uh, your data scientists are using R and Python and some of the other frameworks. And so I would say, if you're looking for courses, there's a ton of courses out there. I've got resources here that you can find where you can actually, you know, start getting involved, start getting, you know, hands on technical and not have to use Java. So, so go out there, look, find some of these resources. Thanks again, everyone. Make sure you subscribe so that you never miss an episode. So we talk about, you know, big data, big questions where I answer, you know, big data questions from the community, you know, can be a simple question. It can be really hard. Just submit those. Also, we've got interviews that we're, we're starting to set up. So people around the community where you can actually go on YouTube here on my channel and you can see these interviews where we're talking about people that are you know involved in the community and then also the career aspects of it, too. And so that's one of the focuses that we, that we have, you know, with this YouTube channel is we want to focus on what it takes to be successful, what it takes, you know, to get started in big data, because it's such a hot topic and such an interesting field to be involved in. But sometimes you get kind of, you know, like a deer in a headlight where you're trying to figure out how to get started. And so that's one of the things we're trying to tackle here. 
Well, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.